What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. <laughs> All right, uh, another episode of BFFs. Look at the cast. We have in New York, Bree, Josh, O'Malley. Maybe a fast episode because uh, there's not a lot of topics on the sheet. And we're supposed to have Impractical Jokers, but two of them got sick. Um, so we'll just postpone that. Yeah. And there w we'll just go to that later. You've done a lot with them, right, Josh? I've done a couple different like videos with them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we'll postpone that. Um, so it's just kind of like a headline show. Go through what's going on in the world. Uh, obviously, the Johnny Depp Amber Heard verdict came out. Depp awarded 15 million damages, 10 million compensatory, blah, 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 all that. Um, Amber Heard starting to go fund me. But that was shut down, I guess. We booked She's not going to be able to pay no matter what. Um, so I don't know. Any thoughts on, the, on, on this case at all? Obviously, everyone was watching it. It took over kind of the news. It's giving me very Gone Girl vibes. Oh, yeah. She, like she's going to murder somebody? Yeah, I don't know. She just gives me very bad vibes. I feel like I'm scared of her. Like, everything's premeditated. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, no, how's I it mean, being, by the way, how is it with all you guys in, like, one office? Like, is this good? It's pretty dope. Yeah. I feel yeah. like we're just good. hanging out, being friends. Yeah. yeah. You know. BFFs, really. Just BFFs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you guys, you, Dave. how long have you been in New York for, Josh? Uh, I got in on Sunday. So have you guys hung out and done like no? They didn't want to actual friend. No, really? Yeah, they didn't. I thought <laughs> I texted didn't. them yesterday. No, they didn't. I think we they didn't, didn't get back in. We didn't get back until what, yesterday. Yeah, exactly. I texted them yesterday. No answer. It's whatever. I did answer you too. Nope. All right, whatever. Well, did you? She answered me, but did not want to hang out. You didn't ask me to hang out. Yeah, I was like, oh, what are you guys doing? What can we do in New York? Well, you're here all Nothing. week, so what? You don't Nothing. want to hang out anymore. Not anymore after that like little text hell? thing that went okay, on. Okay, well, I had a very long day Sunday, and my brain hurts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where were you? Uh, we did, like, an event in Rhode Island and ate a lot of shrooms, and it was uh, it was a lot. I saw hurt. a video, and you looked possessed. Yeah. yeah her eyes were popping out of the, her socket. <laughs> oh, I was Can just I? I was laughing very hard, and when I'm on shrooms, I cry because I'm laughing so hard, and I just look a little crazy. Yeah. Okay. Can I see said video, please? Oh, it's a yeah, long do we have? One. I saw I saw your story where you were just like staring outside <laughs> of the train or whatever. What kind like of shrooms? Super what, into that. Shrooms what like kind of chocolate shrooms bar. Do you eat? Chocolate. Like a chocolate bar. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you have like you chocolates more than like the actual? Plant? Yeah, I okay. do. I feel like it's a little less intense, right? Like yeah. the chocolates. It's the only drug I really fuck with. Shrooms. Okay. Yeah. Can't shrooms though? When you do the actual mushrooms, it's like you—they're like they're they're not dosed out, so you don't know what you're getting. Yeah, right? that's why I like the chocolate because you know what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Um, are we gonna see this video of her? Being... <laughs> this went a little too viral. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I, was it on our play sheet? Were we gonna talk about it? I don't. I mean, I we don't have this. Is this like is, this we, have, on... we can talk about anything because we have not <laughs> it, many sheets here. It, it's it like looks three like minutes long. Minute it's yeah. like three minute long video of us just like tripping uh, at a train station. Uh, I'm here for it. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just waiting. All right, so listen, we're at the train station, yeah. and we ate a lot of shrooms, but we just realized, so the sign says we gotta Motorcycle be over. Pause. Oh yeah, your eyes so are bugging. the yeah. sign says we gotta be over there. The little, like, have to catch your yeah. breath, like. <sighs> Riddle me that. I'm sure you can see there's a sign over there. Uh, it looks like I'm wearing a diaper. <laughs> seriously, seriously. I mean, seriously, come on, I mean, guys. how do we get over there? There's like a, that's like a whole thing. That's like a, that's like a, that's like a fence. There's just, there's just no way. This is the wrong, we came to the wrong spot. At least we know now. We don't know anything though. Okay, so we just have to jump it. No, I can't. <laughs> Listen, it's I don't want to jump this as much as you, but. That's like fucking that. three feet high. Rihanna? I thought this was a hop, skip, and a jump. I'm going to fall into the third rail. Yes, out. And that's a lot for you. That hurts. <laughs> I don't want to see that. <laughs> okay, so. All right, so I get, I, I get, <laughs> I get the yeah, point. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah I get it's the, like point. the longest video. TikTok ever made. It's like, yeah, three minutes. I put it on my backup account, and then it got like five million views, and I just didn't want that I to happen. <laughs> I still don't understand that concept like a backup versus the real but whatever like why would you put something in the backup versus the real i, I feel like i do that too now yeah. like with like tiktok and everything yeah i feel like you just don't care as much right so like yeah. you don't try as much on the post yeah and, just like, oh, and you feel like you can just post anything because you yeah. don't care what the numbers do and then it always seems to do better on the backup though oh, it's weird right yeah yeah 
Yeah, well, it's impossible to know what I feel like TikTok numbers are going to do. And I also don't get, is it just like, you're just, oh, wait, there's two sheets to all these sheets? Oh, so we have more stuff to talk about. Um, it printed front and back, so that's interesting. Um, can you just openly be like, I'm doing drugs? <laughs> like me? Yeah, I, yeah it's got to be you, because we already like, know the answer for me. It's no. <laughs> yeah. I think he means like TikTok. I don't think he means... I mean anywhere. Like, if I if I smoke weed, like, I get shut down. It's like, oh, my God, Dave, like, smoked weed, shut down all of his accounts. I can't do it anymore. Well, you know what's weird? With weed... I can't say that I'm smoking weed on anything, but shrooms, I feel like it just gets a pass for some reason. Maybe because they think that you're talking about a vegetable. Yeah. Just maybe all up. mushrooms. Yeah. yeah maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I, can, I don't, I don't think that's it. You think it's a, you think People, it's a girl thing? You I think, think it's, it's a girl. Get get maybe with it? it's like a, maybe it's like a filter thing. Like they're more advanced with the, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That's Makes another reason sense. to put it on the backup account though. Yeah, because yeah, then if yeah, you post that, that shit point. on the backup and you I get like shadow crazy banned, shit on that account. Yeah. yeah, or you get that like shut down. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I didn't think that. That's the first logical thing I've ever heard about the backup account. Yeah, mm. but a lot of people don't even use it for that. I do because I post crazy shit. But you, yeah. you wouldn't. Well, post crazy shit. No. but you post crazy shit on main. Well, yeah, I just post crazy shit. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> say, it's kind of really one no, the same. For yeah, you. yeah. I guess for the so. rhyme. <laughs> Uh, eBay wristbands. Wristbands are from the trial are being auctioned on eBay, ranging from 50 to... Uh, so, so this is just people who are still on Johnny Depp. So if you got into the trial, you have a eBay wristband. I guess it's going for money. That's weird. I don't think it's um, an eBay wristband. I think they're wristbands that are sold on eBay. Good just, point, Josh. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thought I'd catch you there, but... Uh, that's yeah. um, me doing my... Uh, my anchor man. I just read whatever it says on the sheet <laughs> and go direct. But who would yeah, want that, correct. though? Why would I mean, it had the, one watch in the last 24 hours, the one that's 850 bucks. So I don't really know if anyone does want it. Yeah, I mean, true. it's a collector thing. Like who would stand out there like maniacs cheering for like the people. True. But I mean, people are nuts. That's true. Uh, Liam Payne doesn't hold back on One Direction. Former One Direction member Liam Payne went on impulsive and went viral revealing behind the scenes at One Direction. He said Simon Cowell formed the band around him, suggesting he was the front man. Uh, Liam talks about Simon's plans for him. Uh, yeah, uh, buddy. There's this was no embarrassing. Way you're yeah. gonna be the front man. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I, it, it sucks because the thing is, is he did go on the show like two years earlier, like X Factor, or whatever it was, and then they told him like, "Yo, you're too young. Come back in two years." And then Simon called him to come back when they were making the boy band. So it's like, yeah. Eh, but I don't know if you're the front man, man. Yeah, and people were were saying like they hate that he said this because he had the best audition out of all of the band members in one direction but now he just sounds like an asshole yeah and then so, people were yeah. pulling up clips of him like at clubs like trying to get attention from people and like no one cared and it was like <laughs> tough and embarrassing i wouldn't have known liam Payne if he walked across the street and slapped me in the face i wouldn't know what he looked like let's see the clip and i know most people know him but he's like just he's not no I harry know, styles yeah or yeah. zion whatever williamson zane <laughs> <laughs> Part of the reason One Direction was made was because of Simon's promise to me that in two years, I'll make this work for you. Wow. So he kind of started with my face and then worked around. How did they choose the rest of the, the group? I don't know how they chose the rest of them, but I mean, they made the right choices. Called my dad, I was like, this is weird. I know that I just told you I'm out, but they want to put me in a boy band. Like, what do you think about it? He said, well, you can either be 100% or nothing or one fifth or something. And I thought, hmm, <laughs> very clever, Jeffrey. <laughs> so you <laughs> <laughs> your dad by your, his first name? Yeah, very clever, Jeffrey. Very this clever, is huge Jeffrey. for Logan Paul oh, to get this I, interview. I, I was actually going to say the opposite. I, I like, I know Logan. I think well enough to know, like, and especially Mike. They didn't give a fuck about what they're like. They're definitely not interested in One Direction drama, but they were kind of faking like they were. Yeah, and oh, they broke for this. the views. Yeah, it's for the yeah. views. Well, he, no one's ever like talked about the breakup, and this is the first time anyone talked about it. So it was good for them. Got it. Yeah. So, um. Liam was vocal about just like for former band member Zion taunting Zion for not being a respectable man. Zane. 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 Yes. Zane. Yeah, I thought you were talking Zane. about Zion Williamson for a second. No, no. Yeah. Leon also said there was a time that he and an unnamed band member came to blows. Liam were calling their fight. Uh, this is Liam an later clip. All right, so let's watch it. Was he drunk during this? He had to be. He was spewing nonsense. Have any of the boys uh, in the group ever actually come to blows? It came very close at points. I think it was well known within the band that I don't like taking 
Man's never I made shit. it very obvious. I'm not going to tell you how. There was one moment where there was an argument backstage, and someone, one ma member in particular, threw me up a wall. So I said to him, "If you don't remove those hands, it's a high likelihood you'll never use them again." That is such a British thing to say. <laughs> it's just <laughs> awesome. He went from Liam Payne to Liam Neeson <laughs> yeah! in, like two, in like two seconds. Seems like I'm a hard more, I am so more fascinated with watching Mike and I know. Logan live. <laughs> That's I don't picture Mike like like that Liam Neeson statement from Mike is so fucking forced that I find it hilarious. Yeah, right, right. Like, I think that's, that's what just a lot not of people how he is too, though, right? Yeah. Like that it was just like it was just an interview that was like just weird all around. From yeah, Liam like I, saying he's the shit. It was to, him like trying to make it interesting and yeah, be good, yeah. just making stuff I, up. I don't know that. I even have his number. I, I'm gonna call him and put him on speakerphone and ask him about that if I have it. <laughs> yeah, I have it. I think he'll pick up. We'll see. I'm gonna be like, I'm watching this interview, man. That line about Liam Neeson was something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also fucking, I gotta call him FaceTime Audio because my service sucks so bad here. Let's see if he picks up. Davy Crockett. All right, so uh, we are live right now on BFFs, and I'm just watching. No way. No, I, you are. It, it's not it's the internet and it's not really live it's <laughs> but you're live but it's not live you know what i mean we're taping it but i just i had like uh the hairs on my arm stand up watching you try to interview that one direction dude like i've never seen you like that trying to make these little dumb jokes with somebody you didn't really want to interview it's not that i didn't want to interview him it's like imagine going into a interview with someone that represents a group of people that are so is he on speaker? Wait, yeah, you're. Uh, yeah, he's on speaker. My phone sucks. You can't hear him. Yeah, put it, put like the front part uh, near the mic. It, it is the back. That's where it comes out. What? You have a technical difficulty. No, I, you're on speaker. I have terrible service here. So, but you are on speaker. No. <laughs> oh, the, hold on, hold on, hold on. iPhone speaker. Turn it up all the way, maybe. It is up all the way. You can't hear anything he's saying. Uh, we nah, could in the beginning. Not really. Have him talk again. Yeah. What's talk up, again. Hello. Oh, we lost him. Did you hang no, up no, no. Him? We didn't lose him. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't. This technology <laughs> shit. I got no service. <laughs> We're seeing the the age here. I think. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not the age. <laughs> I'm on fucking speakerphone right now. Yeah. It says speaker. Oh, there we go. That was better. Okay. It's a all little right, bit better. All right. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, that wasn't you. That's why I couldn't get over you and Logan trying to act like, or like you're fucking Walter Cronkite interviewing this guy. <laughs> well, dude, it's e it was easier for Logan probably. It's, I don't know anything about One Direct. Like, dude, I'm 37. I don't even know anything about NSYNC or the Backstreet Boys. One Direction is like 12 years, 20 years after them. Like, if you ask me about certain scenes from fucking Fight Club or Saving Private Ryan, I could talk about it all day, but it's really hard for me to get on a level with some kid that sings for tweens. I don't know any of his fucking songs. I mean, but that line where you're like, you went from Liam, whatever his name is, to Liam Neeson, I like, I was like, whoa, where might come up with that one? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's where I, that's the place I exist in, dude. I've realized slowly over time that it's really hard for me to connect with this audience. I wish there was some other loud East Coast, you know, mid 30s, 40 year old guy that I can connect with to create content for people our age, you know? Yeah. No, I don't know. Those people are hard to find. Good luck with that. I don't even know if we can hear this because I have headphones on still, but thanks for picking up. Later. Yeah, it's a serious business. I saw you chirping me too. What are you fucking talking about? Get out of here. I'm doing God's work. <laughs> All right, I'm glad he picked up. That's not his. That's what I'm saying. That yeah, he had no idea. I don't idea. know if you're going to hear, but it was so obvious. He's like, "What am I doing here?" He doesn't do like quirky one-liners like what we just saw. <laughs> and I do like One Direction. I was in a One Direction beef. It's on the um. What were you beefing about? Some rant. Remember we talked about Harry Styles' outfit? Yeah. Oh, Coachella? I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw your Somebody tweet about it. 
Yeah, someone came hard at me. They're like, you're a fuckhead. Don't ever talk about Harry Styles. And oh, by the way, you have the most basic name ever. Like, well, hey, coming what, a for your name? what a diss. Yeah, just like your name <laughs> yeah. fucking sucks. I don't know if it's on the sheet, but do you see people getting so mad about uh, the, the coop shit uh, from last week's episode? Oh my God, yeah. Have you seen that I don't know if that was worth it to talk about, but we, we, can, we can show that. I, I definitely oh, yeah. saw videos. Like, I saw videos. I feel like people were like editing it and taking it out of context, though. And well, also, you, like, they were. You, were. you were mean to him, but... Deservedly so. I wasn't even that mean to him. Oh, you were pretty mean to him. I was giving him like a hard time. What did I say that was so mean? No, but I mean, you could just tell that you were like, eh, I don't really like fuck. Like, you weren't, you were yeah. You, me and you Cooper like tell. homies. Like, he comes over to my house all the time. I was yeah. just giving it him a hard time on the pod. I think yeah, people don't across. understand I, that like friends can fuck around though. Yeah. Just like blatantly shitting on him in front of his face. But like, I mean, take I did, it, like, he's taking I think, it. I think people got mad at like the drug comment. I think that's what they yeah. got. I was like, I don't want to throw my life away about, but I wasn't even like referring to Coop necessarily and his drug problems. I was more referring to the fact that everyone in that fucking house, all they did was wake up, smoke weed. And I was like, I was a part of that for like eight months where it's just like, you wake up, smoke, don't do anything all day. Don't be productive. And I was like, I, I just didn't want to be a part of that anymore. Yeah. I so I he made me feel I don't want to say like old, like people did get on me for making fun of the crop top sorry yeah that's because what I was you, you you made him feel so bad he put on a sweatshirt I'm sorry a crop top's a fucking weird look I don't care it was also but, really cold in my room so that's probably why I put on a sweater yeah he put on the whole I, fit yeah, yeah. he's kind of dripping yeah we were like yo that's do a spin for us like you know yeah I not, who am I to judge I I did feel like I didn't feel like I went in hard on him at all but he felt I didn't. Some guests I feel comfortable with, like being myself, and like what I didn't with him. Like I couldn't tell what his deal was, and I didn't. I just didn't know like yeah. where to. Push he also or kept whatever. reiterating that he was very sensitive, so we were oh. like, "Oh, I, I don't know what we can say, cannot <laughs> right, say." Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like he after the podcast, he was like, "Yeah, that was sweet." Yeah, like it's not like yeah. he, he did was a like, TikTok live watching the podcast. Like these guys are awesome. This is yeah. so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. Like and Dave also says that about like Lil Huddy, everyone that wears crop tops. Oh, uh, right. Just it's like, not like it was like uh, a new uh, take. Crop tops are ridiculous. Yeah, fucking you always look say it. Yeah. Like, I mean, come on. I'm also <laughs> quite a bit older, so I don't know. They people have wacky clothes. There uh, also was yeah, a talking over clip that went like semi viral on all the T pages, but like. I just looked at the Zoom and it was like Dave was talking over Cooper for like eight seconds, but we just couldn't Josh hear. and Zoom cut out. You couldn't hear any of yeah, it. We have the yeah. clip if you want to see it, but you just can't hear any of what he was saying. Yeah. So Dave didn't even know he was talking. No, yeah, I don't think Coop was like talking in the mic very like yeah. much either. Like he was kind of like talking to me almost. So he would like yeah. talk over here, and then it was like my mic wouldn't pick it up. Yeah. So. You mean I was getting criticized for talking over? Yeah, yeah I'll show you yeah. the clip of what it was. It, it right, does we'll look kind of nuts at the <laughs> when you don't know. <laughs> Let's get into some yeah, of this right, headlines but, now that we got all that. But, but like, but Nessa, sticking with it, you know, and Nessa. it is in the news. Is I guess Jaden was asked about <laughs> Nessa and Josh. Let's get into some of this headlines now that we got all that. And the first one sticking with it, and it is in the news. Is I guess Jaden was asked about Nessa and Josh by the yeah. See, we couldn't even hear. Him. So different. So yeah, Dave was looking at his sheet and, and the Zoom it cut out so he, we didn't even know Cooper was talking. Dave didn't know he was talking. Yeah, no, I tried to give Coop like the little like, yo, dude. <laughs> and I always have to be like the mic, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like. Uh, yeah, I, I had no idea, clearly. Like, I'm not that big of a savage, obviously. And by the way, if anyone thinks like I hear Nessa through these and don't immediately stop like what I'm doing <laughs> yeah. and be like, the floor is yours, good sir. I posted it didn't even video. Seem I was like, like, if you think there's any chance that we would not stop when we hear the word Nessa, then you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Total idiot. Didn't even seem um, like he knew where he was going with that. He was like, yeah, Nessa, and then Nessa, and uh, I don't know, Nessa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so stick, sticking with Liam, I guess. Um, I didn't get the connection there. These pages are kind of confused me. He, he wants to fight Bryce Hall? So essentially he was talking about just fighting in general and there was like talk about Liam doing a boxing match against an influencer and then there was a tweet that went viral that was like uh, me waiting or like me cheering for Bryce to beat Liam Payne's ass and it, ass, and it was like the Tana meme where mm -hmm. it was like we all team Bryce out here whatever the fuck it is like even paparazzi team Bryce. So then uh from that bryce retweeted it and was like fuck it i'm down to fight liam payne and then that went like super viral then liam's ex-fiance ended up making a video to that audio of tana being like we all team bryce so then it was like ah maybe there's gonna actually be a fight between the two bryce hall is a wizard yeah <laughs> a wizard like to be in the middle of this when you really have nothing to do with this it was, it was pretty awesome yeah, because yeah, Liam Payne got caught cheating on his uh, fiance a couple weeks ago. So, and then the fiance made this video saying that she's Team Bryce. So that's why it's like fucking huge. 
like caught caught cheating pictures yeah. pictures of um him all over another girl and it was really bad yeah who is the can i see the fiance maya henry yeah liam payne's on a downfall yeah yeah he's not oh, my beef, but you know we team bryce out here right. <laughs> even the paparazzi team bryce oh god <laughs> She like kind of killed that. Yeah, she, yeah, she, killed she that. even did the little the, <laughs> yeah, the little hand stance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Maddie Monroe moving away from Liam Payne, who I didn't expect to be a major topic, but uh, that fight would do numbers. Who was the other guy we said should fight Bryce last week? Somebody else, right? Taylor Holder. Oh, Taylor Holder. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm in on that. Yeah, I'm yeah. so I'm in on that, that one. Uh, game time. This is the exclusive ticket partner of Barcelona Sports, and for our cities, we got the Celtics in the NBA Finals. The Rangers playing the Garden. So tickets in hard demand created by fans for fans. Game Time is a new ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, shows. They guarantee the lowest price. They crack the code on how to score deals on last-minute tickets. It's possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last-minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. Um, for the summer, there's all, I, I used to always go to Country Fest, but right now I'm focused on the sports. The purchase process takes just two taps and 10 seconds. Once you buy your tickets to deliver directly to your phone no printer needed the app also asks you uh, allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get into the game seamlessly skip the hassle enjoy the moment best part you get 20 bucks off your first purchase download the game time app go to the account tab to create a login redeem code bff for 20 off your first purchase terms apply download game time last minute tickets lowest price guaranteed Maddie Monroe goes off on girls flirting with her boyfriend. Maddie Monroe exposes a non-famous girl on her Instagram story who has apparently been flirting with her boyfriend. Another girl swiped up Maddie's story and says this girl tried to flirt with her boyfriends too. Honestly, like, what are you going to do here? Like, yeah. you're Ma yeah. Maddie Monroe is famous, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love how I love how it says like non famous non -famous girl. Famous like we're just we're just fucking subbing her. It's just like, hey bitch, you ain't even famous. What's up? We won't even give you names. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just this non famous girl. Yeah, well what's the point of like posting the poor girl? It's like she's gonna get so so much shit. Well the weird thing was was like she's blurring out responses from her boyfriend. Like Maddie is blurred out the responses on her yeah, boyfriend. Yeah, you should be blasting phone. your boyfriend. So it's like well, it's like that's a that little page. that's a little weird. Oh oh second pass of uh alert. BFF exclusive. We need that like news. Like, <laughs> yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll put it in. oh yeah, oh yeah, those. breaking um, news. Exact. O'Malley, brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It sounded uh -huh. like an anchor. <laughs> Uh, the girl involved DM'd us because we are the only show that always tells the truth. I, I'm already. She had me from that first DM immediately. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's this awesome. Is beautiful. <laughs> with the full screenshots where Maddie's boyfriend doesn't seem too innocent himself. In these messages, it seems Maddie's boyfriend mistook the girl for her roommate. Wait. For his roommate. His slash roommate mom. Slash mom? It seems Maddie's boyfriend mistook the girl for his roommate mom saying to stay out of the back because he was cheating and bringing home a girl that was <gasps> not Maddie. <sighs> Oh, Wait, in these messages, it seems Maddie's boyfriend. So it's unclear whether he lives with his mom or a roommate, so but he was texting whoever he lives with, stay out of the back of the place, apartment, house, because I'm bringing a girl back. That's not Maddie. The mother would be like, okay. <laughs> Well, that's Damn. why that can't. you can see the full screenshots of them being like, you text your, the girl was like, wait, why would you text your mom this sort of stuff? He goes, you text like my mom's. What? This is Bella, not your mother. What the hell? This is creepy. Okay, so then why is she posting the girl on her story? Shouldn't she be breaking up with her boyfriend? Yeah, he's literally saying, shush, you want my Addy? Okay, you play you play him, I'll play the girl. All right. A little role play action. <clears throat> I'm about to come home, sleeping in the back, cheating. I just got home. Are you sleeping at yours or Maddie's, LOL? Just leave us alone. I'm coming back. Is the back clean? This is Bella, not your mother, baby girl number one. I'm dead. I'm crying. Dumbass. Gee, gee, you know you'd keep your mom updated. Crying emoji. You text like my mom's. Shush. You want my Addy? Secret safe. Get home safe, Nick. Baha, are you at Maddie's or yours? I'm on my way home. Well, let's hang soon. Of course, mom. <laughs> LOL, mommy's wants to see you again. Oh, for real? I really want to see my mommy soon. We'll make it happen. Wink. 
Hi, Bella. This is Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking funny. That's crazy. I feel like people are going to take that audio and make something dirty out of it. <laughs> Especially with Josh. Fan fiction of Josh. <laughs> I'm lost. I, Wait, I, I, don't, I think I get it, but it can't make sense. We're saying, so this is Madison Monroe's boyfriend. Yes. Yeah. Who apparently tells his mother when he's cheating. Yes. Yes. I find that. The, the text just cheating by itself was so absurd that <laughs> I was cheated. like, but cheated. I mean, this is, I'm the, she didn't, she doesn't have a contact name. That's the actual number. So it's like, we could confirm that's like the not her friend. Should we just like, should we just like call him right off like the show? Wait, that, like, that, that, no, but this, yeah, this, is, jingle. this, this is her friend she's talking to. She, he thought it was the mother and it's Maddie Monroe's friend. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is if this girl faked those texts and it's, put and just had her friend text her these fake things. We would know because there's an actual number there. So it's like but Maddie could be like, that's not my boyfriend's number. Yeah. Should the I give him a call? Only, who is that? That's that Maddie's number boyfriend. Is, that number. The only thing. Oh, Mal, you, I guess you can call just like yeah, we're doing a the thing and be like. The only thing that is so preposterous. It's. I don't know what's more preposterous to tell your mom you're cheating or. <laughs> yeah, what? To make up these texts that this is your evidence. Who would do that? that yeah, it's like, no, both both strange. And I, by the way, I what think kind he of just must be is super so, close with his mom and cr- like weird so relationship. So I, I think the, I think the miscommunication is she thought she lives with, he lives with her his mom, and so she was saying, "Why would you text your mom this when he was really just texting like his roommate or whoever he lives with? Stay out of the back. I'm bringing your girl home." And so then he's just drunk, so he just plays along with the mom thing. But I just think, I don't think like. I don't think he actually would touch his mom on this. Yeah, That's my yeah, right, no Austin. Sense. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Austin to wow. figuring that out. That was yeah, like yeah, yeah, big yeah, Sherlock yeah, yeah. moment for you there, Austin. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of the other DMs in like context that she sent, but uh, I think that's what makes sense. Okay, okay. She still and, and thinks so it was the mom, but it, I just don't think that makes sense. And this guy is also, sounds like he fucked Madison's friend, Bella. Yeah, I th- he clearly is fucking all the time if he's just saying cheating. Cheating. Well, cheating. You, can yeah. see, you can see the, also so one the bottom thing for him. DM that I included from this girl saying that she, he tried to get with her and her friends and then texted him after. I saw Maddie choking the fuck out of him and pushing him into a table. God. This couple's so, crazy. Amber Heard, Johnny I, uh, Depp. The, the moral of the story without everything going on, Maddie Monroe seems like she should stop pointing the finger at other people and maybe just pointed at her boyfriend. Wild yeah. move to like blur out his text because everyone's going to be like, well, what was he texting? So this yeah, girl at the exactly. end is like, this is what he was texting. Yeah. Just kind of makes her look very stupid. Like the one, the Dave, the one above that she posted kept out all of her boyfriend's texts. Oh. Yikes. So she fully knows her boyfriend's cheating on her. And also, yeah. Matt Aaron Rose said he has to come in the pod about a year ago and has ghosted us since. <laughs> that may be a bit of a bias. Yeah, I don't know if she's going to come on after this. Yeah, she's just mad at the so non-famous So, are we allowed? I don't, what do we? I would love I, to I think, do so it. Te- I, yeah. Te- no, text the number because I don't know. We need like permission. Just text me like, uh, this is BFF's O'Malley speaking. Okay. Um, I was going to pretend well, to be the U.S. consensus. But I don't know that we can use it. <laughs> okay. Without like permission, I think you know? if you say it immediately, call and say well, this. Is... I mean, I, I don't, I don't think Let's that's be safe. true, Austin. I think you're making up your own rules. Well, like, that. no. Well, what about an interviewer I, though? I am... Like interviewers, like call people and they're like, "Hey, this is whoever yeah. with the times." Like, you say, uh, "Yeah, do you consent to being recorded?" Exactly. Yada, yada, yada. And if not, we cut it. All right. Well, yeah, All but right. if they say no, we can't use it. At Correct. All. We can't use just the call part. Correct. Yeah. All but right. if you text. And you said this is um, Barcel Sports reporter, investigative journalist <laughs> O'Malley. Like we're doing a story on you being a cheater. Is this your phone number? Please. Confirm. Yeah, I wouldn't admit to that. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's run it. You got to use investigative journalist. <laughs> this is invest. <laughs> this is Barstool reporter. <laughs> O'Malley speaking. Yeah. O'Malley from the Barstool Sports Times. <laughs> <laughs> the barstool pose. <laughs> it it makes a little more sense how you could make up these these answers now that half of it's already there, I guess. Yeah. Too bad iOS 16 hasn't come out yet, so he could just delete his iMessage. But I that. think if she was really trying to hide it, she would have cropped out the number because she knows that like if Maddie Marona could ever just be like, that's not my boyfriend's number. 
you could also can't you like wait are you reverse? saying you can delete your messages coming up yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. on the sheet you're From- gonna be able to delete i saw a video this morning on tiktok and they like announced you're gonna that be able on delete, ios send and edit yeah your messages what? so what the fuck everyone's kind just gonna be up. cheating now yeah super fucked that's, up i brought this up the other day i even think the new instagram feature where they just keep throwing like people in your feed that you don't know it's like what what are you doing i don't want to see people i don't yeah it's like, I look, it's like, who is that person? It's like, oh, I have no idea. But they like the I saw a coach and like a basketball seven. player today. Just like a high yeah, school coach crazy. and basketball kid. Just like sitting yeah, I'm next seeing to each like other. random I'm people. Like, what is this? All right, I'm sending them over. Uh, hello, this is investi- investigative reporter O'Malley from Barstool Sports Cheating Scandal Department. Can you confirm or deny if this is you? And then I just sent them uh, the page. <laughs> is that Sweet. good? Yeah, All that's right. Awesome. Perfect. I think you can probably reverse engineer with a phone number who... Like, once you have the number, you can figure out who it is pretty easily, I yeah. think. Yeah. I don't know necessarily how to, but I think you can. Um, all right. Tana Monjo uh, cancels her cancel podcast. Brooke Schofield, Tana Monjo's Mon- co-host, best friend, revealed that Tana's cancel podcast has been canceled after fans were left hanging when they would go dark and not post for a bit. Brooke said they will be back in a different format. Shocker. Shocker. Couldn't, keep, yeah. couldn't keep to a real schedule. Jinx. Couldn't see that one Jinx. coming. I mean, canceled podcast. Can't, it's obviously going to be canceled. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she probably didn't show up for her own show. Yeah, I yeah. feel bad she probably though because I know Brooke, Brooke loves like, it. She loved yeah. it. I know. She probably texts Brooke every morning like, "Hey, I'm sick." Yeah, she's like, oh, "Brooke again? said she never knew what to say when they wouldn't post an episode when they were supposed to, but it's no one's fault. There's no drama. It just didn't work out. Well, it's Tana's fault. <laughs> yeah, let's let's yeah. all be for real. I like the thumbnail. Uh, I'm unemployed again. <laughs> just smiling. <laughs> Brooke tweeted asking Barso is hiring a little after releasing her video explaining the podcast had ended. Um, who knows? You never know. Uh, all right. So that's not overly surprising. We just talked about this. Yeah. The new iOS feature will be able to edit, send messages, uh, sent messages, undo sending message entirely, and mark red conversations on red. That's going to be a cheater's delight. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what text Terrible is world. this, though? Hi, Lamb Chop. It's only been an hour, and I miss you already. Love you. <laughs> is this what they're using? To- <laughs> that was the, that was the, I don't know if that was the official Apple one, but that was the screenshot of the like announcement tweet. It might have been from like a variety or something, but okay. that's the one that they decided to use. I would Lamb. probably Lamb edit around send that message yeah. if I sent that message. <laughs> I don't want to be calling an example something that you need to unsend. Right. They're like, man, you were really trying to be a little like, you know, riskier, loving, and you said lamb chop. Probably yeah. rethink your text there. Yeah, Dev said that is the official Apple ad of what they what they actually posted. But Should but all right. Trust the only thing about it, if you edit it, it doesn't edit on the person you sent it to. Yes, it just does. Just on your own. No, it does. That's the thing. It's so I think like Instagram, right? So you can, get, you can get into an edit battle with somebody? Oh, yeah, this, yeah, that's the weird thing. Like, what if I like text you something, get a fucked. response this, from you, then go back, edit my first message to make it look like you're saying something else, and then it's like, screenshot. Oh, this right, is a yeah. canceled dream. It's like, this is it's what like, I'm saying, yeah. This is terrible. So I don't know text it's... messages were, will no, hold it up can't, in like, the court of law ever. It issues, can't. So it, basically no, the platforms that can do this, cancel. they all say there's a there's a little thing underneath it that's edit. Like in the actual Apple thing, underneath the text, if you edit it, it says edited. But oh, that it was. Okay. Still, so though. obviously you could get rid of that or like yeah, right. whatever. But, but you could just but you block could, that out. You could edit the edit with the little. But at that point, you could just Photoshop text. And you can unsend too. Yeah, that's crazy. You can that's unsend. The yeah. unsending so, well, and editing. This is main. This is ma- That's what I'm this saying. Is maniac. They yeah. want everyone this to like, just be bad people. I want to start writing letters. Like the Joker, the Riddler. This is like you want to see the world burn type stuff. A hundred percent. The fuck. Like we already have Snapchat for that. Yeah. yeah I feel like, like I just have to cheat on people. Josh's now. a big Snapchat guy. According to Ellie Zyler. <laughs> True. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was relevant. <laughs> All right, guys, this summer, face the intensity with Takis. Takis snacks are the perfect snacks for all your summer adventures, no matter what you're doing. Having Takis snacks on hand make the day so much more intense. So for hanging out with your OGs, serve the Taki Roll Tortilla Chips, the original Fuego Chip, in one and only purple bag. So lose the boring peanuts when you watch baseball and try Takis Hot Nuts with intense double crunch technology. Takis comes out with it all. The Takis Hot Nuts are new. They're great. They're intense. Whether you're catching waves or just hanging out at the beach or by the pool, snack on Taki Waves, thick cut, wavy potato chips with an intense crutch try them and face the intensity this guy right. uh, went viral <laughs> guy humiliated by hall oh pass. this poor this bastard been, it, it almost is so outrageous uh, you almost think it's staged but it seems authentic and it's i mean what? i don't you know don't we're pro life have you seen this it's the worst thing oh I've no i have seen. not seen oh, this oh, this poor bastard i haven't seen it either worst, it's the worst thing i've ever seen 
period. If the Yankees were going to win a World Series, but you had to give each other a hall pass, would you do it? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, why do who, you have to hesitate? Who does she have to, does she have she to have can pick to... anyone who you want. Who would you pick? Anyone in the world? My ex-boyfriend. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> who would you pick? Uh... What? You. Oh. Um, I'm sorry. Why the ex-boyfriend? We're gonna fight about this. Yeah, no shit. Um, He's gone. You can tell. Him. He was a good lover. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's the worst and she and she seen. she made sure she was like anyone in the world. <laughs> My ex boyfriend. And double down, be like, he's a great lover. It, it's, that's, that's, uh, and then gets mad at him that. when he doesn't say her. Are you shitting me? Uh, no, she did. He did say her. I know, but she's like, well, hello, me. Uh, and then he's like, yeah, oh, I know no. you. He, she, she did say me, did she? She just wanted him to answer, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either but way, either way, it's nuts. like, I don't condone murder, but I'd murder her. Like, I want to do something nice for him. Uh, if I'm, if, if someone embarrassed me like that, I'd be like, well, they're not my girlfriend. They're, they're, she's yeah. just not my girlfriend anymore. Yeah, she there's is no in way. Love with her ex. And now they have to go sit at a Yankees game, which is already brutal I, enough. Yeah, so yeah. long. That's crazy. Yeah, it was that was tough to see. It went super viral. I, I saw like major celebrities tweeting about I that. I like, don't Ooh. know how I didn't see I'd that. I hate to be I'm that guy. You on mushrooms <laughs> exactly. all weekend, probably. That's how you missed probably it. Probably true. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw it. Uh, <laughs> good job, Omal. Omal is handling mushrooms better. Uh, this also went viral. Disney employee ruining a proposal. Just oh, pretty funny. Him. This guy. Yeah. Disney came out. We'll show the video. They did come out and apologize. A little uh, di day late, dollar short. Thing. I think this is definitely worse. <laughs> oh, fucking loser. What? He's right, but over here, she's gonna be even better. So he's gonna have like a social, I would have punched like, that guy social right problems. In mouth. He was I so proud punch of himself, himself too. He's yeah, gonna, yeah, he's gonna have it. something Throw wrong with jab. him. Like he Throw can't jab. be normal. Yes, yeah, so you come over here, it'll be much better. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> he's gotta Disney have something are wrong. Nuts. Uh, Dizzy has come out with a statement about the incident since it went viral on social media. They apologized. They offered to make it right with the couple. We regret how this was handled, uh, the Dizzy spokesman told Newsweek. We have apologized to the couple involved and offered to make it right. I don't know that you can make oh, that right. You can't like, redo yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. What do you think the offer is? Like, do they say, like, here's $100,000? No, like, you can have your wedding here, around? probably. Yeah. Or maybe, like, you maybe. could have the castle to get engaged You can redo the, the photo. The castle. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, that or not sucks. redo, maybe. Like, if you're getting. If you're proposing as he did, they must be Disney people. They're not. So maybe I was going to say, you, you fuck you anyways yeah. for getting married at Disney. Fun fact, uh, <laughs> Disney employees aren't allowed to point. They have to go like this. Really? He did that. He absolutely did that. Mm -hmm. he, he followed the rules. Um, <laughs> to a T. <laughs> to a T. The, yeah. the Rise of the Mustache. After the release of the new Top Gun movie, I did good. see it. I loved it. Great I loved movie. it. I, I also am like <laughs> not really in that photo, yeah. a little one. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a little That's pedo. a fake one. <laughs> that looks stash. like you drew that one on. Yeah. All right, yeah. guys. <laughs> that is Ash. We'll see what happens this November. <laughs> yeah, I have a fake one. Miles Teller, oh, everyone's going bananas on Miles Teller. I know. Ladies love uh, Miles Teller. I hate it that it, it took everyone this long to realize I've that he's the sexiest he's, boy yeah. in the world. Yeah, I've always thought Said Miles Teller was a very good looking dude. Spectacular now. Yeah. dogs? Come on. Yeah. I mean... Great Project movie. X. I saw. I probably watched the first Top Gun a hundred times, so it's like I loved it. Made me feel old. The new one, but great. Um, all right, into BFS corner. Josh updates. Ness's burner used to only follow herself, and now follows second person. Josh. This Ooh. is just more of the same. Yeah, yeah more of the same. <laughs> yeah, same uh, shit, different week. Yep, yep, yep. Griffin accidentally says that Josh and Nessa are back together now on TikTok. Yeah, it was like he slipped up. He didn't mean to say that, but I was, can we can we see it, please? Yeah. <laughs> So I was like shading Nessa every chance I got, oh, I know. and then it's like you guys are together now, and like yeah, you know, she was what like. What do you mean by Josh and Nessa are back together? No, I said when they were together, and then it's like you guys are together now, and like. No, you said he did you say and Nessa are he back did say together. That. No, and when I they said, were, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know, like, you're, like when your boy's dating a girl, you're like forced you to hang out, boys and she wasn't girl. like bad, like she was alright, like a nice girl or whatever. You're like we're digging ourselves such a deep hole. Alright, I'm sorry, dude. That's I'm all sorry. I meant, guys. Hey, Nessa, I'm sorry. I didn't. I, that's all I meant. That's what he meant. Oh. 
Anyways. Finally, we get a conclusive answer. I mean, clearly you guys are together, but then... <laughs> How is that conclusive? I, that I was just conclusive, Josh. He's that was one not of your best friends. Conclusive. He's one of your best friends. And you said, yeah, 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 true. Wouldn't no, he was court. talking about past tense, like when we got back together. No, he wasn't. Yeah, no, I think no. he was. Mm-hmm. What do you mean when you what, past tense? Yeah, when, when you got would back that together, when? Because now, I guess it's a good the time. Walk? What, what did you do this weekend, Josh? Um, what did I do this weekend? I think I kind of just. Oh, I went to I went to hide. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you go after that? I went to my house. Nate Wyatt's. Oh yeah, yeah. We went to Nate's for yeah. the after party. Yeah. yeah. Camera guy said you were gone really long yesterday. We um. Can, we do can somebody York? fucking clue can me? Can someone in? clue me? I don't know what the so, fuck's going on. Yeah, what are so we talking about th- here? This is one of the very rare ones where this video didn't get out to like any T pages or anything. This person DM'd these videos to us. And they said, I don't do this. I don't follow TikTok. I just love Dave Portnoy. And I think that he would want to see this. Fuck okay, this, I like person. this person. Who the oh, fuck yeah. is this person Breaking that was at the house? Again. So, Breaking fuck news them, again. Bro. Yeah, so I guess we'll play the first one. Let's oh, see. are you Let's scared? See. Oh, I'm so scared. I don't know what it's about to be. This one's funny for one reason. We'll show it after, but. It's just the two of them hanging out. Hold on, go. So th- oh, this okay. this one whispering sweet okay. nothings. Yeah, it was just probably like if, Yo, you, if the still of this is. Hilarious. Isn't this a good song? You're just telling her a secret. Who the fuck? She does not seem video. interested at all. That's a meme. <laughs> this the people the, the BFF team have been comparing it to this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one as well. Have that's I told funny. you about my crypto? That that's almost identical, right? Yeah, that's really <laughs> close. Yeah, this is like when you like bring out like the like fucking uh, Robin Hood oh, or some Josh. shit. She seems she seems <laughs> done, done with Josh's shit. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like she's happy whatsoever. Yeah. Wow. And then just so there, was a, there was another one that was confirming that Mia was also there with yeah, Josh and Nessa, and then Josh and Nessa left together. Um, well, we okay, so you guys are together. Yeah, yeah. You, I don't know who that is, but you guys are together. That's fine. I that mean, was actually crazy. Well, I, Mia and Nessa were like talking to each other for like forty-five it, minutes, were you and scared? I was just like, hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen mm-hmm. here. Yeah, they're, so, they're, right, they're right there, same same couch. Look at that. Who the fuck is taking these videos, bro? Yeah, there's a You got to start conversating. Wait, notes. is is M- Mia is in her legs? Pretty much. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. And there's Libby Dunn right there, too. Yeah, what? That's, that's it was the, a good night. That's the two of them. Right All there. of your girls in one corner? <laughs> it, was a, it was a fun night. Shout out to that stoolie. Yeah, she, fuck them. Big time. <laughs> yeah. Big time. Stooly Nation, man. That's super not cool. That's like that completely house. breaks all the codes. I, I, of like I coming again to my have house to. or like my friend's house. Yeah, that's totally breaks up. so um, many codes. So invasive. Do you have an idea who? I don't. Be? Not an idea, but if I see them, I'll punch them in the throat. <laughs> I'm big into the throat jabs recently. That was hurt. I gotta remind myself of how old I am because I'm older and it's like creepy sometimes. But and no one else is saying it. Like that's a weird vibe of of Mia laying in. Ness's legs with Josh there. I'll just leave that at that. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Um, Stay a girl. <laughs> just, I that's will, a move. That's you, a good move to pull. So she solid. steals Nessa from Josh. No, uh, I don't think that's necessarily what I'm getting yeah, at. Didn't I don't think a, that's what I he's thought we well, had I think I know what you're getting at, BFF, but we can get so it like a, a video Nessa posted about maybe being bi. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Yeah, well, she didn't post. She said it. She yeah. said, like, yeah. fully, like, yo, I'm bi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up with it? Mrs. Steel, Mrs. Your girl. Mrs. Steel. Mrs. Steel, your girl. <laughs> yeah, connecting dots. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. BFF guest wish list. We put up a form asking people to submit new guests they'd like to have to be in the show. Uh, specifically, people that are not the usual people have tried to get on. Well, I already, again, I know you already told me, Austin. I know who's top of the list. But other than that, do you have any other guesses, you guys? And, and everyone wants Silvana. That's not happening. Um, she beat she beat Jaden Hostler by a pretty decent amount. It was Nessa one, even though we asked not to do it. Silvana two, then Jaden three. Damn. Oh well. I feel like we still need like Lil Huddy. Mm. So I asked. I, I specifically named those people and said, "Don't like we want people that aren't those people, like the Addison Huddy, okay, like all those sort of people." What do we think of Luke Bryan? Like, I, lo- I personally love Luke Bryan. Like the country he, he, singer? Yeah, he, we, he, I, I've met him a couple of times, but they reached out. He wanted to come on BFFs. That'd be kind of cool. He's hilarious, He wants to come too. on BFFs? That's interesting. That's yeah. actually like hella yeah. dope. Yeah, maybe we should start right. branching out, get a new audience. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. see so what the drama there, is in the country world. So do you guys have guys besides like the usual suspects that you'd want to get on the pod? 
We should go. Maybe we should go more actors, actresses. I've Sadie always wanted Quill to get like that. You went on was a, was high up there. She's Brie hilarious. Went on her show. Um, that kombucha girl. I don't even know. Brittany Broski. Okay. Brittany Broski. Oh yes, I know. I would yes. love Brittany Broski on here. The number one outside of those top three was the Sterniolo triplets or whatever. Josh yeah. and I talked about that. I think yeah, we'll do that yeah. at some point. Yeah, we can do that when I get back to LA. They can yeah. just come to the crib or something. Maybe you could apologize to Harry Styles. Probably I, I grab him. If, listen, <laughs> if Harry Styles wants to come on BFFs, open invite. <laughs> I, I would have to leave. I don't even think I could do that. <laughs> really? <laughs> I would have a heart attack. Uh, all right, jeans. we got one video to react to. No, that we already, that was the one that oh, we. Oh, um, surprise. Yeah. Good for whoever that was. Send them some Team Portnoy merch. All right. <sighs> yeah. I never yeah. got a response. And then when you find their address, give it to me. Yeah. Throat punch. Keep us updated, O'Malley, if we get a response. I will. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing yet. From yeah, the, from the cheetah. That episode, sometimes I feel like if you don't have guests, the episodes go smoother. That went pretty smooth. Yeah. I think, I think a lot of people agree with that, too. Well, it's comments. just it's one of those things. Guests are like, Big Cat always talks about, like, guests are something that pe people that don't normally listen to your podcast come to. Draws but them in. But it's right. this thing that people actually like and care about. Right. Like, this right. is great for the right. fans. Oh, yeah. 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 Do you want to play that? Do you want me to play that video of the Hamptons one? I know you talked about it as like a BFF video. It was funny. Yeah, it's a funny video. I yeah, play it, whatever. Right, <laughs> funny video. I found it. it was I was driving to the airport. You gotta show the picture probably too. Yeah. So I was just driving. I felt like Josh. This would be a Josh. <laughs> yeah. This would be it right up Josh's alley. All right, let's so see I was driving to the airport and like I went I need well, here we go. So oh, and these sweet. girls like pulled in to the gas station just to take a picture. But the video then that they sent was like funny. Are you in a Bronco? Yeah, an old 70s Bronx. I thought it was a golf cart. It's like one of my dream cars. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. How long that did they follow crazy. you? Not very long. Like, I mean, it's from the, it's not long to get to the airport for where. This is a great face. But that's yeah. Awesome. yeah, that's awesome. That's that is great. awesome. <laughs> get, get the get the people going. That's what it's about. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, it's good. setting the tone. Good stuff. Everyone freaks out when they see you in the Hamptons. Ah. They lose their minds. Yeah, no, not so much. It's like I'm here all the time, so that's the same with the Hamptons guy. A lot. Mm. Well, I'm more an Nantucket guy, but Hamptons for now. So, all right, that's uh, BFF. Boom. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me, guys. O'Malley, great oh, job. Yeah, I got in trouble last. O'Malley, people criticized me like you were mean to O'Malley last night. I'm like, no, I fucking wasn't. Oh, no. yeah, I don't care. O'Malley got a <laughs> shout out in the weekly YouTube email that goes to the company <laughs> um, because we were they're like, shout out BFFs to have a replacement host because all the comments in the YouTube were O'Malley is the absolute best. Yeah. Oh, what can I, I say? Like O'Malley. O'Malley's a good girl. We can add yeah. like, and sometimes right O'Malley. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> when our guest cancels O'Malley. Occasionally yeah. O'Malley. Yeah. yeah. yeah.